Hello and welcome, beloved, to another episode of Ask Dr. Mumbi. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. How you doing? How's everything going? I really do pray that you are well in all your ways and that you're moving into living life uh, truly on your own terms, um, in your own story, in your own narrative, so that Babylon doesn't get you with their false narrative that they're like literally running and bulldozing on us. Sorry, my screen is getting hot because I'm reporting live and direct beloved from my you know my my garden <laughs> yeah um by the foothills of mount zion i was about to trip over just then um just praying that you are in the highest of spirits the highest of thoughts and you're working on yourself and making yourself an absolute priority as we watch babylon crumble down and try and take as many of us with it um special shout out to everyone that supports us on patreon we appreciate love you so much and for everyone that emails us we really really do appreciate love each and every one of you uh you know there's a lot of people have been asking me there's a lot of excitement about um doing a global meditation or praying at a say that's a similar hour and a lot of people have been asking me how do we chant how do we pray what do we do when do we pray um because you know everyone wants us to do it at a specific time which would have a great great power and energy and maybe we'll look into doing Doing that um, in a few, you know, in the future. But the most important thing is, you know, the whys and the hows. I think it's first important to understand why should you chant, why should you pray, why should you meditate and have positive affirmations, why should that be a significant part of your day? It's because, beloved, you know, uh, the power of your word. Even the, even the scriptures tell you in the beginning was the word. There is so much power, beloveds, because you are many creators. And so what you say will have an impact on your life. And the more you work on yourself, the more you elevate yourself, it will have an impact on your community. You know, the words you declare, the more you raise yourself, the more you purify yourself, your words will be able to impact a nation. And if you really want to go all the way, You'll be able to influence global events with your voice, beloved. That's where we should want to get to. But you see, if you're chanting for one thing and, or, and there's more people chanting for one thing, the collective energy has the power to change destinies, to change um, you know, the plans of the enemy, to send those plans back. And so the reason we pray is because our words have so much power, beloved. And at such a time as this, many in the melanated nation, all we have is our words, beloved, our thoughts and our words to get us out of this situation. And to be honest, that's all we need. In such a time as this, that's really all we need. Um, and we just have to now refocus back on the power of our words. Um, and, you know, the, the more pure your vessel is, the more you have a deeper understanding of who you are, the more you're able, uh, you know, the more your words carry weight and be can become serious, you know, daggers and arrows into the enemy's camp. So the reason we should pray is because our words have power and it's the most powerful instrument at our disposal a very powerful instrument at our disposal and I think uh, you know it's so important that we dedicate as much time as possible to you know to using that instrument to work for us the other reason we pray is because collectively as a nation that's how we're going to set Babylon free beloveds that's how we're going to liberate our nations. Because in the power of our tongue, even if it's a foreign tongue, beloveds, the power of our breath, we got that breath from our create the source, the creative force. And that's why we never really die. We just leave and come right back until we're, we're done with what's going on because we're spiritual beings having a human experience. The other reason we should pray, beloveds, is because the world is mental. We should pray or we should chant or we should, you know, just use our words to do, you know, to, to call in the reality we want. Is because the world is primarily mental, beloveds. 
And so, you know, you, you are what you think. You are what you meditate upon. And that's why if you look at Babylon, that's why they've concentrated so much on occupying our thoughts, distracting us, devastating us, putting us in doubt, putting us in fear. It's all because the world is first mental and that's why they do so much mentally. And we haven't realized that they have to declare what they're going to do to us. And that's why they created this whole entertainment industry. That's why they created these seven pillars. I'll get into that in a future episode. But the why is because, beloveds, right now, as a global melanated nation, we're playing catch up because we're still trying to do everything physically. We're, we're, we're in reaction. We're praying to what's happening now instead of commanding the atmosphere to manifest what we want to happen next. And that's why Babylon is always kind of keeping us off balance, you know, kind of just, oh, this is happening, that's happening, the daily news cycle, this, that, entertainment, education, this, rules, laws, I got to make money, I got to do this. They keep us in that so that they can continuously dictate what is happening in our worlds because our power, our mental power overrides theirs. But our mental power right now is scattered. So why should we chant? Why should we pray? Is because it has the power. When we come together, beloveds, collectively, that has the power of a creator. That has the power of the creator to change things. All of us are many creators. So when a million of us get together as the chosen ones, imagine what will happen. I mean, literally the world can change overnight. But Babylon will do everything to make sure it doesn't. So now just overstand, understand, and understand. Anything you do with this, whether you're writing out your intentions, that's also really powerful. Whether you're just meditating and seeing the future, seeing yourself flying, seeing yourself doing all these wonderful and wondrous and mystical things. All of that is so significant to your transformation, beloveds. And we are, and you know, a lot of people are saying we should all pray about the same thing. I'm going to do a video on what we should pray about. But the most important thing, beloveds, is that you just understand the why and then get deeper into the techniques. Because you know your soul and your spirit team will reveal to you the most effective way for you to pray. For some, it's to get on bend and knee and cry to the Most High. For others, it's to write down their affirmations like, you know, a hundred times. For others, it's to sit in meditation and allow and, and visualize the new dawn for Africa, the new dawn in their own lives. You know, there's many ways. There's others who do fire rituals where they'll write what they want and they'll burn it in the fire, you know. There's many who will write it and put it in their, you know, on their shrines, etc., etc. But start with what you know, beloveds, even if it's praying, but remove these, these, these Babylon characters, and just pray to the most high creation, the highest revelation, the highest love, the highest, you know, spirit. And that spirit will continuously reveal her character, his character to you. Why we pray is because through our prayers, we will change this world in our lifetime. Chant on Babylon. Chant down Babylon, beloveds. Tuka pamoja.